The Mitsubishi F1 and T2 symbolize the rising sun in Japan's military aviation history. Even though many sources do not define them as a copy of the legendary Anglo-French Jaguar, their resemblance is undeniable. Still, they are distinguishable aircraft in so many details. Today, we are investigating the T2 and F1, a Sensei and a Samurai. The T2 jet trainer and its support fighter variant F1 are among the most intriguing military aircraft of the first Cold War era. Everyone can immediately notice the resemblance between them and the Cipicat Jaguar. Yet the T2 and F1 have many differences in details. In this video, we will mention the history and features of these two aircraft and then leave the judgment to you. When the Japan Air Self Defense Force or JSDF took the F-104 into service in the early 1960s, it quickly realized the existing T-33 and Huja T-1s became obsolete for conversion training for this highly capable jet fighter. The Starfighter represent a leap in combat aircraft technologies. The Japanese pilots, who had previously flown the F-86, experienced some difficulties in this transition. Even the two-seat F-104 DJs were too complex for conversion training roles. Moreover, the F-86F fleet of the JSDF was already aging and could not answer modern combat requirements. Yes, the F-104J had replaced these aircraft in interceptor roles. However, the F-86 was still used as support fighters. The Japanese preferred the term support fighter for fighter bombers. Their mission was to perform anti-ship attacks, ground attacks and close air support besides dealing with air threats. But unlike a multi-role fighter, fighter-bomber, their air-to-air -air combat capability was secondary. So, the JSTF needed a new jet trainer and support fighter. Even though Tokyo authorized the budget for designing a domestic aircraft in 1962, it also considered license production and joint development program options. The most prominent candidates were the T-38 and Jaguar. Even though Japan attempted to negotiate license production of the Jaguar, these plans were never realized. Besides, after the Second World War, the Japanese aviation industry had already been covered and developed several successful aircraft such as the T-1, YS-11 and MU-2. So, Tokyo decided to continue with a domestic jet trainer development program, the TX. In 1967, the Japanese aviation companies Huji, Kawasaki and Mitsubishi submitted their proposals. At the end of the year, Tokyo selected Mitsubishi's design. The company was awarded the official development contract of the TX on March 30, 1968, just six months before the Jaguar made its maiden flight. Mitsubishi, the main contractor, was responsible for the design and development, fuselage production, final assembly and flight testing of the new aircraft. Other Japanese companies, Huji, Nippi and Shinmeiwa, was responsible for the wings, pylons and tails, respectively. The first XT2 prototype was rolled out on April 28, 1971 and performed its maiden flight on July 20, 1971, which took 38 minutes. During its 13th flight, the aircraft broke the sound barrier in level flight, which made it the first supersonic Japanese aircraft. The tests revealed some critical shortcomings. For example, the aircraft's directional stability was insufficient at low speeds and in crosswinds. Two ventral fins were installed in the rear fuselage to overcome this problem. Some systems such as ejection seats and the anti-lock braking system of the landing gears were unreliable. However, Mitsubishi would have enough time to correct the shortcomings since Japan experienced economic difficulties. Initially, Tokyo had planned to order 20 aircraft in 1971 but it was postponed to 1973. The XT-2 was redesignated as T-2 on August 29, 1973 and entered service in 1975. Mitsubishi produced 90 T-2s including 28 unarmed T-2Zs and 62 armed T-2Ks. The letter Z was the initial of the Japanese word Jankigata, meaning the previous model. The letter K was the initial of the Japanese word Kokigata, meaning the late model. Two additional T-2Zs were also produced for the F-1 program. 
Mitsubishi developed the T2CCV research aircraft in 1983 to test the domestic digital fly-by-wire flight control system. The 2C T2 had a length of 17.85 meters, a wingspan of 7.88 meters and a height of 4.39 meters. Its wing area is 21.8 square meters. The aircraft's empty weight was about 6,200 kilograms, while its maximum takeoff weight was 12,800 kilograms. Two 31.76 kilonewton Ishikawa Harima TF40-801A afterburning turbofans provided a top speed of Mach 1.6. The aircraft's range was 2,870 kilometers. The T2 service ceiling was 15,240 meters, in other words, 50,000 feet. Its later variants had one 20 mm 6-barrel JM61A1 cannon and five hardpoints. It can carry nearly two tons of ordnance, including the AIM-9 Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles, bombs and rockets. The support fighter step of the program initially experienced many problems. In 1969, Japan decided to acquire the high air-to-air -air and air-to-surface combat-capable F-4E. Naturally, many thought that the JSDF would not need a new support fighter. However, unlike the original E variant, the Japanese F-4EJs would have a limited ground attack capability. The second problem was that in the early 1970s, Japan was in some economic trouble. On top of that, the cost overruns of the T-2 program also made the support fighter development program more difficult. So, Tokyo briefly considered licensed production of the F-5E Tiger II in 1972. Yet, after the cancellation of the Kawasaki PXL Maritime Patrol Aircraft Program, Japan had sufficient funds to continue its work on the new domestic support fighter. In 1973, Tokyo approved the development order. Initially, the aircraft was named FST-2 Kai. The second and third mass-produced T-2s were modified as test beds for flight testing of the FST-2. The new support fighter made its maiden flight on June 3, 1975 and was renamed as the F-1 one year later. The aircraft was introduced to JSDF service in 1978. Initially, Japan had planned to acquire 126 F-1s. However, due to economic problems, this number was reduced to 100 at first and then 77, including the first two prototypes. The single-seat F-1 had a length of 17.86 meters, a wingspan of 7.88 meters, and a height of 4.48 meters. Its wing area is 21.17 square meters. The aircraft's empty weight was 6,358 kilograms, while its maximum takeoff weight was 13,674 kilograms. Two 35.6 kilonewton Ishikawa Harima TF40-801A afterburning turbofans provided the top speed of Mach 1.6. The aircraft's range was 2,870 kilometers. Its combat radius was 556 kilometers. The F-1 service ceiling was 15,240 meters, in other words, 50,000 feet. It had one 20 mm 6-barrel JM-61A1 cannon and seven hardpoints. The aircraft could carry nearly 2.7 tons of ordnance, including the AIM-9 Sidewinder and AIM-1 air-to-air, ASM-1 and ASM-2 anti-ship missiles, bombs and rockets. The T2 and F1 had minimum change. The rear cockpit of the trainer variant was converted to an avionics bay in the support fighter variant. Also, while the T2 had a three-piece windshield, the F1 had a one-piece. The semi-monocoque fuselage of these aircraft were made of 66.5% aluminum alloy, 17.9% steel, 8.7% titanium alloy, and 0.3% magnesium alloy. The titanium alloy was used around the engine bay to withstand the heat of the engine exhaust. The T2 and F1 looked like the Sipica Jaguar at a glance. However, the Japanese aircraft had a more dart-like appearance. They were considerably lengthier with a shorter wingspan than the Anglo-French Wildcat since the JSTF had different requirements. The Jaguar was a strike aircraft with a limited air defense capability for self-defense only, even though the Ecuadorians used it for air-to-air -air combat missions in the Senapa War. However, a support fighter, which was essentially a fighter-bomber, also was performing scramble missions during peacetime. 
So, the Japanese engineers had not been influenced only by the Jaguar, but also by the F-104. It was the primary reason for the change in the wing design. T2 and F-1's wings were shorter and thinner than the Jaguar, so their wings could not carry fuel. The fuel was located in seven tanks in the fuselage, between the air ducts of the engines. Unlike the full-span double-slotted split-flops of the Jaguar, the T2 and F1's wings had the air spoiler design, which had also been used in the previous Mitsubishi MU2 for lateral maneuvering. It eliminated the ailerons and used spoiler rounds, which increased maneuverability at low speeds. Besides, this design improved the aircraft's takeoff and landing characteristics. The Japanese aircraft had wingtip missile rails, while the Jaguar didn't. The T2 and F1 also had some differences in their wing design. The support fighter variant was fitted with two additional underwing hardpoints for heavier weapon loads. Similarly, its airframe was also strengthened. Like the later T2K, the F1 had the 20mm JM61A1 cannon, which was not fitted on the early T2Zs. Besides, the support fighter variant could carry the ASM-1 and ASM-2 anti-ship missiles for maritime strike roles or the Mark 82 and Mark 117 bombs for ground attack missions. These bombs could be coupled with infrared guidance kits, turning them into precision-guided weapons. Unlike the Jaguar, the T2K had the JAWG-11 search and ranging radar, which was similar to the ANAWG-11 fitted to the British Royal Navy Phantom FG-1. It did not have the precision drop calculation function. On the other hand, the F1 was fitted with the JAWG-12 radar with precision drop calculation and ground mapping capabilities. It could detect a warship-sized target at a maximum range of 72 km. However, since this pulse Doppler radar could not eliminate clutter, its actual detection distance was much shorter. The F1 also had the JAPR-3 radar warning receiver. Its antennas were on the side of the nose and the tip of the tail. Japan considered fitting the aircraft with electronic jammers and chaff and flare dispensers, but these plans were never materialized. The undeniable similarity between the T2 F1 and the Jaguar was the Rolls-Royce Turbomica Adur RT172 Mark 102 turbofans. Ishikawa Jima Harima Heavy Industries produced this engine under license. Its Japanese designation was the TF40-801A. Still, it had some differences from the original variants. The TF40-801A did not have the part rethrottle reheat feature. Also, unlike the Jaguar, the engine intakes of the T2F1 had fixed rectangular geometry and fuselage splitter plates plus a set of spring-loaded auxiliary inlets behind the intake lip for increased airflow in ground running. The large service doors beneath the fuselage made access to the engines for maintenance easier. Another difference from the Jaguar with the distinctive heavy-duty landing gear, the T2 and F1 had conventional single-wheeled ones. Also, the Japanese aircraft were equipped with the same tires as the F-104J. The T2 required a 1,525 meter field length. On the other hand, the F1 could take off from a distance of 853 meters without a weapon load. It had a brake parachute which reduced the landing distance to 549 meters. The aircraft also had a runway arresting hook fitted under the tail behind the engine exhausts. Alongside the advanced jet and F1 conversion training roles, the T2 was used as an aerobatic display aircraft in the Blue Impulse aerobatic display team of the JSTF. It had also served in the Japanese dedicated aggressor squadron until being replaced by the F-15Js. The JSTF began to retire the T2 in 2001 and withdraw the last aircraft in 2006. The Kawasaki T4s have replaced them. The primary mission of the F-1 was to attack the Soviet landing forces over the sea in case of a war. If they failed to stop landing ships, these aircraft would begin to fight over the land with strike and close air support missions. Another job of the F-1 as a support fighter was to support the air defense. However, due to its low maneuverability and rate of climb, the aircraft was not well in this job. In many exercises, the F-1 performed mock-up fights against the US F-16s. Even though they occasionally gained victories, they were easy prey for the Fighting Falcons in general. Just after the introduction of the F-1 in 1978, 
Japan had already begun a study on its replacement. The F-1 had a 3,500 hours lifespan, so the aircraft of the first F-1 squadron would have to be replaced before 1990. However, the development of the F-2 was prolonged and the F-1 continued its job until 2006. The last six retired aircraft had reached the 4,000 hour flight time. Still, the F-1 was a highly reliable support fighter that never crashed due to mechanical problems. Were the T-2 and F-1 copies of the Jaguar? Many Japanese sources strictly reject this claim. They say the similar requirements led to this resemblance. We should give credit to this claim. On the other hand, many people accuse the Chinese of making copies even if they find simple similarities with other Western systems. We mentioned some facts about the T2 and F1 and we will leave the judgment to you. Please let us know what you think in the comment section. Thanks for watching our video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up if you liked our video. To be notified of our new videos, please click the bell button. And also, you can now click the join button to support our channel.